Hi guys, this is Joseph D here, filming another video. This time is motor assembly. Starting off with the components first. 70mm M4 Allen screws, Allen key, motor end shield, back motor end shield which has got a hole drilled there where I've got my finger for the wires to come through. Motor stator, showing the wires for the multi-speed connections, we'll come to that in a second. Motor rotor, this is the part that spins around inside the stator as illustrated. Now we have front motor end shield, front bearing, notice the bit, the machining on the mo front motor end shield is more robust because this is supposed to take more load than the rear one. So if I put them side by side you can compare them. The outer part on this one is more pronounced, that one is less okay that's that one uh, motor shaft this is just an example to show you the two ends of a sh double-ended motor shaft now it can either be round like this it can be it can have a flat milled on it for a grub screw to hold a pulley on or something or it could be just spleened to drive a gearbox or something now this shaft is pressed through here with a hydraulic press a very tight interference fit that's these two are pushed together so what happens is they should be how should we say like that the shaft should be pressed through the rotor so it looks like that roughly now I've got the bearing for the front I'll just put that on to show you an example. So our bearing goes on here. Now that can go either that way. So that can be driving, whatever it's driving. Or it can be swapped over. Let's put it on the other side, you can't see this for a minute. I clumsily dropped the shaft so I pick it up again. Right, it's on the other end now. The end with the flat on it. That can also be pushed through the motor end shield like this. So you can see that spins around like that when the motor's running and it drives whatever it's driving. Now the control gear, because this is a three speed multi speed motor, it's got one, two, three. These motors range from 1700 RPM up to 26,000 RPM. Sorry, 2600 RPM. I correct myself. So it's basically a four pole motor versus a two pole motor. I don't know which way that goes, but. It's round about either 1500 or 2800 depending on whatever speed you select as an example. So this specific motor ranges between 1700 and 2600. The speed in the middle is something like 2200. So I have to just put this together roughly but Bearing in mind I'm holding the camera with the other hand so it has to be a quick assembly job. That's supposed to fit in there so those wires come through that hole. It's very finicky. But you get the idea, these wires are supposed to go through that hole. So what I'll do is I'll put the camera on pause for a second. Resuming back now. I've just fed this wire through this tight hole here. There'll be a rubber grommet around there to protect the wire, which is highly recommended. That fits like so. 
it has like a little groove which which it locates in so it doesn't move around the rotor would be in there which is not assembled yet but you get the idea so we'll miss the rotor and the shaft out we don't need those at the moment but putting the top part of the motor together it's like so careful then we have four allen screws which come through into through the front motor shield and into the back motor end shield and this is screwed together with an allen key there's four screws just like this which keep this motor together So let's just screw this together and then I'll come back in a second. Right, we're back again now. I've just assembled the motor together, roughly. These screws are yet to be screwed tight. But you can see that's the mo motor's connections, the wires that go to this circuit board here, which is a capacitor. Sorry, this is a capacitor start capacitor run induction motor. This will be the motor shaft once it's machined down and used to whatever spec I want it to be now this is just pushed into here by a hydraulic press as you can see shaft with the flat on it that would be coming out through this hole here to drive whatever it is it's going to be driving there'll be mounting holes drilled in this area here where I've got my finger, there, 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 and there. Four mounting holes for it to be bolted onto whatever it's going to drive. So this is my metal casting project so far. As you can see, it looks like a factory made motor. It's very, very hard to tell the difference. so good I even impressed myself laugh out loud well this is just my metal casting I hope to do more easier things than this but this was just a basic project for a motor I need to drive a machine tool so this is how it is so far I will dare say make a video of this motor is fully assembled and running just so you can see it running so stay tuned and watch my channel for that Thanks guys for taking the time and trouble to check out this video. Many thanks. Leave a comment below if you wish. If not then thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. Bye.